Hello, thanks for watching. In this short video I want to go through an example of testing in Maple TA. Maple TA, uh, you might know Maple from uh, its symbolic mathematics and numerical, numerical computing capabilities. Maple TA is a training and assessment shell built around Maple, allowing indeed also symbolic mathematics but also things like dynamic graphs and algorithmic question types. In this example, uh, a topic from a first year undergraduate course on foundation design will be assessed. And uh, before being tested, the students have been attending uh, a traditional live lecture from Professor Ken Gavin on pile design. And uh, the students have been provided with lecture notes containing the theory and equations. Let's have a look at these. Here you can see the PDF file containing uh, the course matter. It's about pile, pile design. The, as you might know, uh, the pile resistance consists of a number of uh, contributing parts like shafts, friction, uh, tip uh, resistance, uh, and so on. And uh, this leads to uh, a stepwise calculation that Need to be needs to be practiced by students before uh, mastering it in the exam. So, let's say this is roughly the course material, and uh, this gives you an idea of uh, a simplified cone penetration test. Uh, what that is used in this uh, particular uh, assignment to calculate the pile resistance. The present Maple TA example is used for formative assessment, so that is to produce a grade, and it has been part of the final exam for first year students last summer. First, something uh, about the technicalities of the environment in which we are working. As you can see, I'm in a browser window. Maple TA uh, is installed on the central computer at the university, and in this case, since it is an exam, it is approached via a safe connection. Uh, via VPN and it will run in any browser window of uh, uh, up-to-date computer. Okay, let's have a look at the Maple TA window. Here you can see uh, the course code and uh, let's say the branch in which I am uh, and uh, the name of the course. Uh, first year, Design of Structures and Foundations. Each year has uh, its own assignments to allow you to order your material and grades per cohort. Uh, but also a library of questions can be found in the content repository that is uh, visible here. Here you can see my item bank, my question repository, and uh, I have my questions stored in folders. For example, a folder per chapter of, uh, of the book that we are using. So now let's go to the question that we want to examine in more detail. Uh, the question is called question one, effective soil stress parametric version. And before diving into the question itself, I want to show you also the possibilities that Maple TA has of showing statistics. Um, you can read from the statistics that the course that this particular question has been uh, taken by 49 students of which unfortunately none had a fully correct answer 45 had a partially correct answer and four students had a fully incorrect answer or didn't fill anything at all the average grade from this 49 students was uh, a little less than 37 percent on a scale of uh, well zero to one or zero to hundred percent which is not very high uh, so you might based on this decide to make the question slightly more simple or if it's uh, if you like it then you could even make it more difficult over the years these uh, statistics will be uh, also uh, uh, well added up every year so uh, every time a student does the assignment or the, does the question uh, the statistics will be updated so after a number of years you can see how the assignment does okay let's look at the question itself here if I click on it uh, you will see it in the same way students will see it during the exam I will slightly enlarge it and uh, 
you can see it's uh, bilingual uh, since in the Netherlands we are obliged to offer exams in Dutch but the teacher in this case is English uh, we have both languages in the question to prevent uh, let's say difficult uh, difficulties in this uh, aspect um, well let's look at the question a single 20 meter long 400 millimeter diameter circular reinforced concrete pile is required to carry a maximum compression load of 500 kilonewtons consisting of two parts permanent and variable both characteristic values the soil conditions at the site consist of dense sand to great depth and water table is at ground level to keep things easy the saturated unit weight of the sand is 20 kilonewtons per cubic meter and the unit weight of water is 10 and the soil characteristic friction angle is 34 degrees and well as you can see some formulas are provided in this case uh, we chose to do that uh, a table with some properties of soils and uh, then here are the answer fields you see there are a number of sub questions it counts to let's see nine sub questions each contributing to the grade so let's say each uh, each question that is answered well will contribute for let's say one tenth, one eleventh, uh, eleven percent of the of the final grade of this question. Um, well, you can see if you can fill a number in here, uh, it has not doesn't definitely have to be exact. You can also give a, a mar uh, er an margin of error. Uh, you can also ask Maple TI to keep the unit blank so to also ask students for the proper unit which is an additional uh, learning objective okay the nice thing uh, it's a parametric question as I already mentioned earlier and by refreshing it it will generate new parameters and uh, let's have a look at this well maybe you do not remember the, the, gr the, the numbers that were there so we have like the variating the diameter the load is varying and also the friction angle so let me check if I refresh it once more you can see indeed that the diameter has changed from 300 to 400 the load is a bit lower now 400 consisting of two parts 300 and 100 and also the friction angle has changed okay so this leads to the situation that every one of these 49 students get a more or less gets a more or less unique uh, question in terms of numbers but of course along the same uh, calculation method in the next video I will look a bit more into the algorithm behind this to show you uh, that it's relatively easy to program a question like this.